Excellency. Where good. My son, he didn't show up. Oh, so sorry about that. I don't think he's intentional. You know, his schedule is so tight. Is that right? Okay. Okay. My regards to the family. Sure, sure. Thank you. While well, I speak. They are still seeing each other, no? I followed him down to the village where I met with her. I was there and uh, later they both drove out. I still followed them up until I lost them. You, please, an old woman, if you threaten her, she might curse you. Oh. Hey. And the target? Taking care of. Virus and harm already went after her. Did, did you send them? This woman. That woman. Now let's get up. Hey. Tell me why you're. Hey. Remain. Okay. Remain there. Right. Don't say anything. Go, 
There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Okay. Burn this thing down. What? What's it about? Not even a single thing will remain. Let the dead remain buried. Alive, please. We are not dead. No, we are not dead. I know. Oh, madam, I didn't know. We are not dead yet. Madam, we are alive. Sent her to an everlasting holiday with the Lucifer. Chapter closed. Oh, oh, oh. Baba Nkata, Tubelo, Isebe Janyene, Wei, Yameregi. Hey, Jago! Jago, Mambo, Jalaba! Jalaba! Everyone turn off the fire! I like you. Thank you very much. The reason I chose you amongst all for my son. I'm sure you will make a good wife for him. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. You see, I'm very happy to hear this directly from you. My father is doing everything possible to make sure he wins the forthcoming election. And I'm pretty sure that he will triple his efforts, knowing fully well that we both will be walking down the altar. Well, good to hear. You see, Harry is my only son. Took us a very long time before we had him. I love him so dearly. The reason I want the very best for him. The love I have for my son is so deep that I could take a bullet for him. 
I'm sure you will love him the same. <laughs> of course, I will, ma. I see. <laughs> You're welcome to my home. Thank you, ma. <laughs> Well, the wallet refuses to come. Ma, I want... There's a development, ma'am. A development? Yeah. Speak. Sahari has been rushed to the hospital. What? Yes. What happened to my son? I just got a call that he has been rushed to the hospital. Which hospital? Get the car ready. Quick! Now! He slumped immediately, he heard about the death of the young maiden he had fallen in love with. And the demolition of her heart. And he hit his head on the ground. I rushed him here. Since then, the doctor had been trying every possible thing to revive him, but to no avail. You look me in the eyes and tell me some fairy tales of the olden days when we are talking about my son's health. My son had fainted because of some girl from the slum and you brought him here to this place? Ma, this is the nearest hospital from the village. <laughs> Who is the medical doctor in charge of this hospital? I'm right here, ma. Um, actually... I didn't ask for your explanation. I'm sure you know by now the personality lying right here. My son was brought in here. You willingly accepted. When you know... You've got nothing, absolutely nothing to offer. Ma. I'm not done talking. Pray. Pray that nothing happens to my son. Because of your incompetence. Should anything happen to my son? I am going to take legal action against you. Not only that, I'll make sure I burn this hospital to dust. Take my son home. Right now. Yes, ma'am. I'm putting a call to the family doctor. Ma. You don't talk when I am talking. Yeah, as you go into the world And the rest of the universe will come around into you Oh, to you, cause you are a star Yeah, you are the rising sun And you are the moon so don't be afraid, my child, my precious child, oh my precious child, oh, it's gonna be alright, alright. Close eyes. The prayer brings them reflexes, such as pupils not responding to light, not responding to limbs, and not responding to painful stimuli, except reflex or movement. Irregular breathing. These are the common signs and symptoms of a coma. As a matter of fact, a coma is a medical emergency which if left otherwise, a patient might enter into a vegetative state. In some cases, it might lead to death. Doctor, what are you talking about? My, my son in coma? Nothing should happen to my son. See, the elections are around the corner. Nobody should know about his health condition. Tell me, what do we do? Do we fly him abroad for quick recovery? See, my son is going to be the next 
governor of the state. I don't know if you're getting it. Madam. So tell me. Madam, we should be more concerned about his life, saving his life, rather than the governorship election. Your son currently is not responding to treatment and is very critical. Like I told you before, if not properly handled, it might lead to a vegetative state. In some cases, it leads to death. Mother, flying him abroad, moving him from one place to the other, isn't the best option. Something led to the present condition that he's into. I mean, your son went somewhere. How do you bring those circumstances into play to see if it can aid his recovery? These are the questions before us that requires urgent answers. this Nkem? Or rather, who is this Nkem? I've been practicing for some years now, taking care of patients, especially those in coma. And I must say, this is one of the very unusual cases I've come across. Not responding to treatment is a cause to worry. <sighs> Nevertheless, I have done some series of examinations and this could be intracranial events occurring within the skull. And this includes infection, hemorrhage, brain tumor and so on and could as well be extracranial, coming from an external event, which reduces oxygen or blood flow to the brain. And some others could be psychiatric induced, mental disorders, which include depression and catatonia. Dr. Steph, you're one of the best doctors in the country. Reasons I employed your services. You see all this you talked about? I don't understand it. I am not into medical, so I, I don't understand your medical terms. All I need is a situation, condition, anyhow, anything you could do to get my son of that condition. My son could not recognize my presence anymore. He neither talks nor eats or do anything on his own. You see, doctor, I am scared. Is this how he is going to continue? What are your findings? Because all these terms you are putting up here, I'm off. I don't get it, do you? I think your son must have landed in the last category of my analysis. Yes, I've had cases like that recently when the patient was totally off for days because of emotional trauma and was only revived with the presence of the partner, a soul connection. No, 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 I'm not really saying this is the actual case here, but I think there is something about this name in Kim. The only word that ever escaped his lips through his amidst his unconsciousness. When I heard it first, I thought I was not really sure about it. Not until today, he repeated it twice. And I asked, what is this in Kim? Or who is this in Kim? If it's a person, does anyone know where we can get this person? 
or rather bring the person down to him, who knows, it could be a gateway to his recovery. This is no improvement in his health condition needs. I shot myself in the leg. I ordered her killing. That young maiden called Nkem. Whatever I did, I did for him. Whatever I did, I did for your brother. My son. I wanted the best for him. I thought I was doing the right thing for him. Little did I know that I would be shot on the leg with which I walk. I married your late father at a very tender age. Took 
me several years of pains and childlessness before I heard him. Watched my friends and colleagues carry their first, second, and third children, yet I had none. At a point, I, I thought that something was wrong with me because people had started talking. Then he came. Carried him for seven months in my womb and gave birth to him and still burned. But then he came alive, wiped my tears away, and gave me hope for future. And I said to him, My son. You should leave. It has been written that the world will hear your name. Harry Chukwagosigom Williams. I loved him. I still do. But Right now, what matters? It's not the world. I don't care about the world. I do not care about the power. All that can wait. All I need Is a miracle that can get my son back to his feet. Nothing can be compared to my son's life. I want my son to look me in the face and smile to me while I smile back at him and we could be fine again. Where can I see that young maiden? If it will take me or Johnny to the dead, to the grave, to apologize to her, I am willing to do it over and over again. If that is the only solution to my son's health to be stabilized, nothing, nothing can be compared to my son's life. Nothing is what my son's life. I love him. I love your brother so dearly. I love him. I love him. Standing in the way of destiny. No one has ever done that and returned home with a golden award of honor. Now you wish you could see her and apologize to her if that is the only solution to your son's condition. Same girl you neglected in the past and sent to her early grave all because of your quest for power, mom. Now you've suddenly realized how important she might be. You've suddenly realized how your son's life matters above every other thing. My question still remains. Where are the girls? Where are the girls you've been forcing my brother on? Where are they, mom? They've all disappeared within a twinkle of an eye ever since my brother's illness started. That is a tip of iceberg of what would have happened if my brother had gotten married to any of those gold diggers. I want
want to make you a promise, Mom. If anything should happen to my brother, Harry. If anything should happen to him, Mom. I will never, never, ever forgive you. I will never forgive you for that, Mom. What will be, will be What will be, will be oh. Although it might take long But destiny know the lie Destiny has a voice It speaks so loud and clear Check out what's up, the movements of destiny. Come what's made. Ia chuku puru ge meri ri. What will be with What will be will be. No one can stop destiny. Hello. Good morning. I came in search of someone. Do you know her? Or any idea who she is? Sorry, pardon me. My name is Diana. Diana Williams of the famous Williams dynasty. Actually, the person I seek, I know she's dead. 
Maybe I'm not supposed to be saying this to a stranger. Maybe also the sense of urgency does not care to know who the receiver of the message is. My brother Harry was in love with this lady in the picture before she died. They both shared what was beyond affection. But then she died. On the news of her demise, my brother slumped and since then he has been in coma till date. His case is very complicated. My brother never responded to any medical treatment given to him. He neither talk, eat, drink, nor do anything on his own. All he does is to lie down on that bed like a log of wood. But he was strong enough to mention the lady's name on several occasions in his unconsciousness. Maybe she has taken away his soul with her. It was with the directives of the specialist that would seek who this came is. Maybe she could be a gateway to my brother's recovery. The Williams had hurt this family. I've come in search. Maybe I could see where she was buried. Maybe I could kneel by her graveside and apologize to her on behalf of my brother and the Williams as a whole. Maybe she could give me listening ears and maybe her listening ears could have a positive effect on my brother's health. I love my brother so much and I cannot stand losing him. Have you got any idea where and how to locate her grave? Please tell me, please. Hello? Are you with me? Um, did, did you say anything? Have you, have you got any idea where she was buried? Hello? Um, did, did you say anything? Do you know how I could locate her grave? Please tell me, please. Yes, uh, I mean, no. Actually, I am not from this community. And the lady in question, I am not sure if she was buried here. what I saw. Yes, I saw her, of course. What happened with the last assignment? Thank you. Thank you for this which you've done for me. 
Thank you so much. Grand which I stand, haunt me for the rest of my life, if I ever harm you. A good people like you deserve every good thing in life. You might not remember me, but I do. You saved my life years back. When some you tried to kill me. When I stole some items from the neighboring community. Thereby forgave me another chance to live. I consider that as a big race for a woman like you to take. I stopped this life. Not until your picture was brought. I accepted the job. Not because I wanted to kill you. Because I want to save you. I will make them believe you are dead. But you have to do me a favor. Leave this community. Hey, <laughs> What have we done? What have we done to deserve all these pains and sorrows? Maybe it's truly a crime to love wholeheartedly. No. <sighs> Do not say that again. It shall all come to pass. When? When, Kembo? Maybe I should have listened. I should have listened when he instructed I leave the community. You are going nowhere. You are safe here in my parents' house. Yes. This is your house. There shall be no more bad news. And if any news should come, it must be a good news. Trust me when I say this too shall come to pass. Okay. Please don't be like this. You know I hate to see you break down. I hate to see you cry. Please. I don't want to see you like this. We are going to be fine, okay? I hope so. Don't cry. Are you sure about it? You sure about it? Okay. If you can, that's all right. Then make her say her price. Anything it will cost to bring her down here, I am willing to pay. Double. Handle this on my own. Oh, I'm a fool, I'm a way. Oh, I'm a 
them on the way A boy can you measure and run A boy can you measure Hope you have a warm Yes, I know her. She's answering Kim. You mean you know her? Yes. Please, can you take me to her? Please. Sure, but I hope everything is okay. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. Please, just take me to her. Yes, let's go. She's in the house. Okay, okay. Uh, um, please, let's use the car. Okay? Just no, 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 no. It's not far from here. You, you sure? Yes. All right, let's go. We'll lead the way. has come looking for you. She's beautiful, isn't she? Not for sale. Tell your mother, yourself, and any other person that is involved that Nkem Dilim is not for sale and will never be bought with your words nor anything you have to offer. All of a sudden, Nkem Dilim is now important. She's important because her son is dying. And the specialists have suggested she looks for the girl, which he keeps calling her name, and miss his unconsciousness. Maybe she could be a gateway to his healing, since he's not responding to medical treatment. And she sent you. She sent you to me. The same person she rejected. The same person she thought nothing good could ever come out from. 
the same person she rendered homeless. My grandmother is lying critically ill, all because of the Williams. Tell me, what was my offense? Tell me, maybe I could, I could apologize. My only offense was loving her son. Loving him wholeheartedly. Loving him irrespective of the repercussion I was going to face. Tell your mother I am not available. Now go. Go and never return. God of the poor. Yeah. And don't you ever come back here looking for me. Because you never find me. We are going through the tears in our eyes. When will it be over? Will it be over? Shande, is this our destiny? Come heal our destiny. Ofunwamu, ofunwamu, ofunwanje mano. Obu kini kangi mero. Oh my humble child. Oh my precious child. Oh. Oh, my humble child, oh, my humble child, it's gonna be alright, it's gonna be okay, just look to the sky, make a wish, oh, oh. And the Lord of the universe will bring it to you as you wish. Just say a prayer, yeah, as you go into the world. And the rest of the universe will come around into you, oh, to you. Cause you are a star Yeah You are the rising sun And you are the moon So don't be afraid My child My precious child Oh my precious child Gonna be alright, alright, my humble child. Oh, my humble child. It's gonna be alright. Oh. Take a step, yeah, believe in yourself, oh, and the love that the universe, well, say your truth, say your truth, my humble child, oh, my special child. You are my everything Oh my everything oh.
So I'm going to come with my people for us to, you know, commence with the necessary. Deep down within us, we are all so excited already. But we must not forget tradition. Let us call our daughter and kindle them hmm? to confirm if this young man is at the right place. My daughter, you are there. Come, come forward. Stop peeping. Eh? Come. Come, my dear. Come. 